What's up friends? Hope you're doing freaking well. Trained legs today, did some deadlifts. You know when you train legs and you're just kind of like zonked the rest of the day. Surprisingly, I don't feel like that, but uh, we'll see how I'm doing later. Anyways, how are you? Are you doing all right? As you can see, I finally got a freaking haircut. I always have these goals to grow out my hair and it always gets to a point where I just get freaking sick of it and it just looks stupid. It looks like, uh, looks like a bunny nest. I don't know. You know, I just need to be more consistent about getting my hair cut. Anyways, so I was thinking about this today and I'm realizing that the biggest lie that I've believed for most of my adult life now is that seeing my dreams fulfilled will bring me happiness. I also asked myself the other day, well, Brian, how can you quantify achieving this dream that you have in your head? What would it measurably look like? And I don't really even know that answer, which is a problem in and of itself, because if I can't even measure it, then I'm gonna be on this hamster wheel of chasing my dream that I think is gonna bring me fulfillment without potentially ever hitting it. And let me explain this because I've been currently doing what I love for more than eight years now. Photography, videography, music production. I get to wake up every single day, create my own schedule. It's freaking awesome. Now, eight years ago, I was working a full-time job. I actually worked at a hospital. I was verifying health insurance for people who had procedures that were coming into the hospital. I hated it. I was grateful for the income, but I was absolutely miserable at this job. And when this opportunity came up for me to be able to quit that job and do all of this full time, man, it was so freaking exciting. And I figured, wow, now that I get to do what I love and do all of this, I'm gonna be freaking happy. This is it, I'm, I'm freaking doing it. And while the first few months were very, very happy and exciting, that novelty wore off and it became a grind like anything else. But what I found myself doing over the years is continue to chase that feeling of reaching milestones, making accomplishments, and getting this gratification out of, you know, the people that are telling me, good job, dude, or hey, you, you hit 100,000 followers or 100,000 subscribers, whatever the achievement was. And I'm realizing that the more that I've done this over the years, I've tricked my brain into thinking that that's where I get my happiness and life fulfillment from. And I'm sure as you're watching this now, you're like, dude, yeah, definitely not. But maybe, and let me know in the comments, maybe you're also finding yourself in a similar situation. And I think it can be very tricky because a lot of those milestones that you hit along the way, they are exciting and they do bring you some level of joy. But when a majority of your emotional investment in terms of that life fulfillment is attached to that and you don't experience that milestone or maybe your expectation of an achievement um, is not received the way you thought it would be. You set yourself up for quite a few letdowns and this can be really hard. And so I think the thing that I'm really trying to turn away from is spending my life and spending most of my time and energy chasing these dreams that I, can't, I don't even know to what end will actually fulfill me if I achieve them. So it's not to say that I don't have goals and ambitions and want to maintain forward momentum in my life. That goes without saying, but in terms of where my reward system is wired, I think this has to be separated from all of these things that I'm doing. Those can just be the icing on the cake that is my life and the people around me and the people that I love. And also, if you're one of those persons who is currently working a nine to five job, maybe it's something that you hate or you're miserable working at it, well, <laughs> maybe this can be a little bit of encouragement because even if you were to get to a place where you could quit that job and let's say do something you love, while it can bring you some level of freedom in terms of maybe creating your own schedule or traveling more, be careful because you can easily forget about what you already have, the things and the people that actually matter. And you'll just find yourself on this hamster wheel chasing that next thing, that next milestone, only to potentially be a lot more sad then you are happy. What am I doing differently now? Well, I'm really trying to focus on what do I have and not so much material things or achievements. Again, while those are all fine, 
I'm wanting to focus way more on the people around me that bring me joy, especially people like my wife, who I absolutely love and adore. Um, and spending time with her, realizing how incredible she is and what an amazing part of my life she is and, and the things that I'm able to give her and provide her. I'm finding that as I make this kind of switch, especially from the mental standpoint, it's really, really helping me give perspective. So. Those are my thoughts for you today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think? What in life brings you happiness and fulfillment? I'd love to hear it. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate you. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. This video is not brought to you by Zevia, even though creamy root beer is the best flavor. Don't try and argue with me on that.